Do you have a jiu-jitsu lifestyle? Yes, I think I do have a jiu-jitsu lifestyle, <laughs> for sure. You know, my son though is into karate. <laughs> he don't want to do jiu-jitsu right now. It's you know, I go eventually. He's eight, and he's been doing karate since he was three. And I don't mind. You know, my son wants to go his own way, and he just wants to be a striker. And you know, he's like nineteen, twenty, and I'm like, my son don't do jiu-jitsu, but he's a badass striker. I think that's way cool too. But I think when he's twelve or thirteen, I'm gonna hire a jiu-jitsu kid and give him 20 bucks and you know have have him choke my son out so that my son could <laughs> come to his dad and say daddy can you show me that that stuff you've been trying to show me i go i've been trying to show you you know so eventually i'll trick him into learning oh, i have no doubt he will, <laughs> he will learn and he'll learn from one of the best ones out there. but he's really into baseball though he i mean it's all Look, about when, baseball. when i it's met you baseball. you're really into football yeah he likes baseball for a while there he was doing he wanted he's he just wants to carve his own way he just wants to do his own thing he make his own decisions he's eight years old he decides where we eat you know what i mean he he it's it's all about him he makes the decisions it's very important that he makes decisions but um I'll get someone to choke him out. I'll but, give him a little grease we, we, greasy in action we, I showed him grease in action i tried to, i thought that would work. You know, because he's in the karate and go, you know what, I'm going to show him Gracie in action. Because you hear the story of Gracie in action, which is, <clears throat> uh, um, it's, a, it's a documentary where the Gracies videotaped themselves going to Hapkido gyms and karate gyms and challenging the instructor. And then they end up having a fight and then jujitsu always wins. They always choke him out. Hoyler did it. Uh, Horion did it a bunch. Hoist did it. Hickson. And uh, it's called Gracie in Action. Usually when you watch that, you want to drop everything and run to your nearest jujitsu school. That's the effect it had on most people. You watch Gracie in Action, you're like, oh my God, I got to learn that shit. Uh, not my son though. My son, he just hurt him so much because he's so into karate. And all these karate guys are getting just brutalized. And I, I'm trying to enlighten him. And he was like, I think six at the time. And he's watching. It's really painful. He couldn't watch it. And then he gets up and he walks away. And goes, I go, get back in here. Here, watch this one. Just watch one more. He goes, Daddy, I know it. He's going to take him down and he's going to choke him out. I already know. <laughs> I go, not this one. Not this one. And he goes, really? Not this one? I said, no, 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 no. Watch this one. This one, that doesn't happen. And then it happens. <laughs> and he gets so mad. So then I thought, man, maybe I, I, I messed up. I, I came too hard at him. So now he's like, fuck jujitsu. I'm like, all right, damn. I'm going to have to go to plan B, wait till he's 12, get him jumped. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll, I'll work it out. I'll figure it out. I'll get him. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Who, who's Eddie Bravo? I asked you that uh, before. I don't know if it's going to be the same answer, uh, but let me... Poor Mexican kid from Santa Ana who uh, grew up with nothing and who got lucky and 